hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kay, and i am a money management coach today i want us to talk about few tips that you can use if you are in a debt-free journey i believe that a lot of people they want to be debt free i mean debt is very expensive and the right way to do it will determine if you're going to be debt free or not because it's something to desire to be debt free but if you're going to start the journey without the right information, you might find out that prolonging the journey and it's not going to be too pleasant for you because you might end up not getting the results that you want. These are some of the tips that can help you to reach your debt-free journey. Number one, the most important one is that do have a timeline. It's something if you want to be debt free, but the question is, when are you looking into being debt free? Are you giving yourself a year? Are you giving yourself two years? Are you giving yourself three years? Because that timeline will be something that you will be able to measure and work upon. And you know by measuring if you are reaching that goal at the timeline that you have given yourself. And again, let's be honest, it's also going to help you with motivation. When you see that you are halfway and you are left with only the other half for you to finish off in your time, it also gives you that part of motivation. And again, you know, something you do and you can measure, it becomes really hard for you to know how much have you accomplished and how much do you need to do to accomplish the goal so have a timeline in place a year two years three years four years it's all up to you and it also depends on the kind of debt that you have the kind of money that you have so timeline is very very important the second one is for you to know the method that you are going to use uh, i've shared a video where i was sharing two methods that you can use when you want to pay off debt quicker the first one is what we call an avalanche and the other one is what we call a snowball method so you need to sit down which method is going to work for me and my situation if you want to know more about those methods i will link the video below and then you can go and have a look uh, but i'll just summarize them so the avalanche method it works more on you tackling the debt that it's more expensive in terms of interest while the snowball one helps you by tackling the one that has the lowest uh, balance uh, and then you take that money you use on the next one so it means that you need to know which one works for you do you want to go avalanche do you want to go snowball or it's possible do you want to do both depending on the type of debt that you have the third one you need to know how much is the interest amount let me tell you a lot of people don't know that the money that they pay the minimum amount that they pay to the bank does not fully go to lower their balance of their debt so they are surprised that i've been paying this amount of money for five years when i do my calculation five thousand multiplied by five years i should be here forgetting that in that five thousand which is the minimum installment they have the interest amount that they need to pay they also have the service fee that they need to pay so the majority of the money you'll find out that it's going to uh, it's going to the interest amount and only a little bit of, 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 of the portion it's going to lower your balance so you need to know that in my 5000 how much is going to the interest and how much is going to lower my balance so that when you are working and calculating especially calculating the timeline and how much you need to pay you don't need to work on your minimum amount you need to work on the money that is going to lower your balance so let's make an example in your 5000 or in the example that we have of 5000 rand let's say the minimum amount it's 5000 and then the interest amount it's 2.1 including your savers fee it's going to the bank and then meaning that only 2.9 is it 2.9 yes 2.9 <laughs> my meds 2.9 so let's say your 2.9 it's now going to your balance so when you're doing your calculation of the timeline and how much you need to pay extra you don't need to work on the 5,000 rand because part of that money it's not yours it's not going to lower for the, the balance it's only going to the interest amount so which means you need to work on the 2.9 to say okay 2.9 is going to lower my balance on this 2.9 multiply yes as you are paying it off the interest amount is going to go lower which means that you will be benefiting but don't work on the initial minimum amount because you'll find out that it's actually going to save us the interest amount and if you don't know the interest amount you won't know how much is it and you know you won't know how much you need to work with in terms of what's going to lower your balance the fourth one know how much you are willing to pay extra 
when we're talking about debt free journey um i believe that you want to finish that debt quicker than the term that they've given you so which means that you will not look only into paying the minimum amount you'll also look into adding amount so that you can be able to finish that debt quicker so after you know your interest amount like we've spoken on the last point then you are going to know how much you are going how much is going towards your balance and when you know that amount of money it will help you to know how much extra can you pay if you want to finish in two years and three years and four years because you will be working with the exact amount that is going to the balance instead of you working with the whole amount only finding out that this is just a certain portion that is going to the balance so you need to determine and let me tell you something when it comes to the extra amount nothing is too small nothing is too small don't look at that 50 rand at that 100 rand at that 200 rand and say but this is too small will it even add value any extra amount you pay on top of your minimum amount it's gonna help you the only question is will it help you quicker or will it take a little bit of time because maybe the amount is too little but rest assured it will help you to finish that debt before the term that you signed for Job, uh, because you won't be just paying the minimum amount so know the amount that you need to pay extra and again it's fine if the extra amount it's not the same every month because one thing that happens you plan to pay extra 500 rand or you uh, you, you plan to pay double which is in our example is 10,000 rand and some other months you don't have the extra 5,000 rand and you feel like oh my goodness um, I might as well live it no it's fine even if your amount is not the same each and every month but as long as you're putting extra you will finish that debt before the original term the fifth one which is very important you must know how early settlement works Remember when it comes to early settlement, what is, okay, number one, let me just explain what is early settlement. Early settlement is you paying off your debt before the original term. So if the term was 10 years, you decide to pay it in five years, then you have settled the debt early. So there are other costs that you need to know before you can settle that debt so that you're not surprised when you go and settle when they want you to pay extra, you know, and you go like, but how? Because I'm settling it early. So there are certain, depending on the debt that you have, your unsecured debt will work differently than your secure debt because secure debt, normally your home loans and your vehicle finance, they are normally higher in price. So they do have certain rules when it comes to early settlement and your personal loans, your credit card and your other unsecured debt, they also work differently. So when it comes to the amounts where they're higher, especially in the secure debt, there are penalty fees when you need to settle your account early so if you want to pay off your home loan early if you want to pay off your vehicle finance early you might incur penalty fees depending on the balance that is there so you need to know that call your bank tell them i'm planning to pay off my debt in two months or in three months and i know that it's gonna be before the original term what are the costs that are involved you know so that you know beforehand and the procedure on how that is done the second thing a lot of people make the mistake of working with the statement amount when they want to settle the account and they don't work with the quotation that they get for the early settlement and others don't even know that they need to get it so the other thing that you need to know about an early settlement is that you don't work with the balance that you see on the statement or the balance that you see on your banking app you need to go to the bank ask them to say that i want an early settlement code so that you know exactly how much you need to pay remember your interest are charged daily but you only pay monthly so what you see there there are daily interest that are incurred but you don't see them but you only see them at the day that your statement runs so you need to know such um um interest that then you still need to take again with the penalty fee and i know a lot of people say but it's unfair why should they take a penalty fee guys let's be honest it's a business to the bank so remember the bank they get money from you through an interest um, amount that you pay after that you take a loan and they give you an interest rate so if they're planning to get an interest from you for a period of five years and you decide to just pay it in two years it means that they have three years that they're losing money so they will charge a certain penalty fee in most cases you'll find that it's just three months of your 
of the interest amount of the balance at hand not of the original amount and again i know it's a penalty fee it's not nice paying penalty but let me tell you it's still way better than you prolonging or finishing that debt in the term that they've given you i mean that three months interest it will not be nice to pay it but it's still way lesser and you would have saved a lot of money if you decide to pay any debt sooner than the time so please do know those things ne? don't just go and work with the interest with the amount that you see and then you are surprised that i've saved 50k but not the 155 or maybe they even want less which is going to be good on your side but in case if they want more it's better for you to know how the early settlement works so i hope those five tips will definitely help you when you are busy with your debt free journey oh guys debt is very expensive and let me tell you paying debt it's something that it's not nice it's not enjoyable but the benefit that comes with paying off debt you will see it in you when you do your budget you will see it when you now have a larger or a more sufficient you know um a disposable income money what is this possible income again income minus your living expenses because you will find out that you don't have more debts that you need to pay and you will enjoy your disposable income you will invest more you will save more you also have money to spend on things that you like as well and that's where we start building wealth building wealth is based on the money that you don't have to pay somebody so basically when you say i get paid ten thousand rand the question is how much of the ten thousand rand are you left with at the end of the month after paying your living expenses before your savings before your investment just your living expenses and if you check your living expenses or your bills 80 percent of of the chances that majority of it it's uh debt so if you tackle debt first which is expensive because you have to pay interest you will then have more money so i'm just hoping that this is going to help you and again you know in this family sharing it's caring please do share this video with other people so that they can also know what they need to do when they're busy in their debt free journey and let me tell you it might not be nice to pay debt but rest assured it is going to benefit you and you're going to enjoy the fruits of it thank you so much guys i will see you on my next upload bye